Welcome to this brief video that answers one of the most frequently asked questions that I receive. People interested in joining the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency ask me, what is the difference between a Border Patrol agent and a Customs and Border Protection officer? If you are interested in applying for either one of these positions, it is critical that you understand the difference. Both positions are part of the huge Department of Homeland Security. The Department of Homeland Security has more than 240,000 employees in jobs ranging from aviation and border security to emergency response to cybersecurity to analysts and chemical facilities inspectors. Its mission statement is, with honor and integrity, we will safeguard the American people, our homeland, and our values. Its goal is very simple and clear, keeping America safe. In addition to lots of support organizations, there are seven major field operations that report to the Department of Homeland Security. The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, these are familiar to you. These are the guys who check passengers at airports. The U.S. Secret Service, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, these are the guys who oversee the deportation of illegal immigrants. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, that responds to natural disasters. The U.S. Coast Guard. The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. This is the organization that manages requests for citizenship and for green cards. And finally, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency that is the subject of this presentation. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency includes the following organizations. One, there are many support services, obviously. This includes IT specialists, human resources, mission support specialists, mechanics, accountants. CBP agricultural specialists is the second major part of the field operations. Air and Marine interdiction. The Border Patrol agents is number four. And finally, Customs and Border Protection officers. Since this is a large organization, it does get confusing. And an easy way to remember this is that CBP officers wear blue, Border Patrol agents wear green, and they frequently work side by side. With more than 60,000 employees, Customs and Border Protection is one of the world's largest law enforcement organizations, and it's in charge with keeping terrorists and their weapons out of the U.S. while facilitating lawful international travel and trade. There are over 20,000 Border Patrol agents that are protecting 1,900 miles of our border with Mexico, 5,000 miles of our border with Canada, and they also protect 2,000 miles of coastal waterways. Their primary activity is to protect the American people from terrorism, drug smuggling, human trafficking, and illegal immigration. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection has 28,000 employees and they are responsible for overseeing 328 ports of entry. They also are in 70 locations around 40 countries internationally. It has the mission of screening all foreign visitors, returning citizens, and imported cargo that enters the U.S. The basic requirements for both jobs are the same. You must successfully pass a polygraph exam. You must be a U.S. citizen. You must be referred for selection prior to your 40th birthday, and there are waivers for veterans on this age limit. You must have resided in the U.S. for at least three of the last five years. You must successfully pass a background investigation. Convictions of misdemeanor crime for domestic violence are disqualifying. You will be required to carry a firearm. You must meet job-related medical fitness and drug standards. You must have a valid driver's license and you must pass the written exam. The entrance exams are very different for these two positions. For the position of Border Patrol agent, the written exam consists of logical reasoning, and then the Border Patrol requires that you be able to speak Spanish in order to do the job, but you do not need to know Spanish when you apply it. They will teach you if you demonstrate some basic abilities to learn Spanish. Therefore, when you take the exam, you will be given a choice of taking the Spanish proficiency test which covers things like Spanish synonyms and Spanish grammar, or something called the artificial language test. The artificial language test is not something that's familiar to you, but it is relatively easy to learn, and with a good prep course, you can turn this into an advantage for yourself if you do not already know Spanish. For CBP officers, the exam consists of a logical reasoning section, 
It has some basic math. Notice there was no math involved on Border Patrol agents. And you need to de demonstrate that you have good English grammar skills and writing skills. Competition is high for these positions, and you must be better prepared than other applicants to rank as high as you can. If you want to get accepted, you should invest in a quality prep course that has the following features. It should have in-depth lectures that are engaging and entertaining. It should provide you with hundreds of practice questions. Once you pass the written exam, you want your course to include advanced courses on how to pass the polygraph, the psych exam, and the oral interview. It should have a one-time fee and give you unlimited use. And, very importantly, you should have one-on-one -on -one support available to you from an expert in the field. The best prep courses on the market are by Sergeant George Godoy, obviously. If you're interested, go to www.borderpatrolexam.com for both of these positions, U.S. Border Patrol agents and Customs and Border Protection officers. I am Sergeant Godoy. Best of luck to you.